How would you use one of these to save someone from drowning? I've got one here. I'm going to have to put gloves on because it's a very delicate instrument that I have and I'm not allowed to touch it. It's been lent to us by the Welcome Collection, which is one of the best it medical like collections in the world. He could just... save himself by, for example, swimming. Yeah, but if... Oh, going... <laughs> Let's imagine somebody had landed up on a beach almost dead from drowning and right. you have one of these. Is it a bellows? It, it is a bellows. It's a set of bellows. Well, let's just pump air into his lungs. It's easy. You'd think that, but Hang no. on, is it, are, we, are, we, are we saving him for drowning? Alan, oh, oh, Alan repeat what you said. Up his bum. Yep, yes. Often. It's, yeah. So it's up the bottom, but it isn't air. There's more to it than that. So is it spit? Is no, it air? No. Brandy. You unscrew that and you put <laughs> tobacco in. Are you ordering? Tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> you put tobacco in, you light it. It's smoke. Up the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. There's several flaws with your argument. Yeah. Chief among which, if you're drowning, you're in water. Yeah. Which is going to put it out. <laughs> Secondly, who's got time to fill that with tobacco and light it while somebody's drowning? And thirdly, it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are all obviously pretty strong arguments. It's basically if someone, you're trying to resuscitate someone, ah. and it's not just like someone once wrote it might be a good idea and so we've seized on it. This was general mainstream medical belief. And these were hung up all along the Thames. On the embankment From and in, on canals and waterways. How many and people were expected to know, much as you might be expected to know where a fire extinguisher was, where the bellows were. And you fill that with tobacco and presumably you, you puff it like a pipe, having washed it from its previous use. <laughs> and uh, then... <laughs> like that. So, so it would be next, as it were, the life ring Yes, thing. exactly so, so. so. you throw the ring yeah. and you I know drag it them seems in. bonkers. What happened apparently in the 17th... <laughs> there's an example. <laughs> <laughs> this is before this was invented and you needed someone with a pipe. <laughs> Blow man, for God's sake! <laughs> is it sucking or blowing? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's blowing, is it? I don't know. Well, be sure, man, he's drowning. <laughs> I'll do both, I'll suck first. <laughs> so, is it just the shock of the sensation of having smoke blown up your ass that makes you sort of splutter back into life? It, who knows? Apparently, in the 18th century, in the, in the late 1700s, a, a woman was found drowning and apparently almost dead on, and people tried the normal things and H someone suggested so blowing smoke up her ass. It seemed to work. <laughs> so there was a point where they went, kiss a life, just, just wait a second. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hand me that pipe. <laughs> So what it is clearly is someone managed to get better from drowning yeah. at a moment coincident That's with someone having smoke exactly blown the up point, their I ass. Think. And then for, for years, poor other people, on top of the indignity of nearly drowning, <laughs> have had to face that. It could exactly. be a lot worse. It could have been a co coincided with having his eyes gouged out by crows. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Go that gouge be... his eyes out with crows! <laughs> <laughs> It would be a beautiful sight, though. We have blown the smoke up there, and the person splutters back to life and then takes off down with the smoke coming out of the back. <laughs> Look at the speed they're going at! The bloke on the left looks like he's going to rob his trousers if he doesn't come round. He, he does. There was a villain in 18th century London. Well, he's, he's generating the smoke, you see, because he didn't have an all in one device like this. So the, the one on the right has got oh, the pipe. Oh, Christ. So he has to French kiss oh, the yes. in a hat. This has nothing to do with saving a drowning man. <laughs> This is the versions of old London. That's what this. I think we got another picture of oh, it excellent. as well. I hope uh, the real somewhere. people. Yeah, we can time. have a. Uh, we did. Ha there you are. Well, yeah. well he's uh, not drowning. Zero. No, well, he's, <laughs> he's just in the pub. He's just in the pub. This is the sad scene want... from uh, Pulp Fiction. When... <laughs> <laughs> This is actually this is this is this is bad because it means people can say at almost any point I think I might be drowned. <laughs> and, and also, <laughs> as if that's bad enough, it's like as if that doesn't look wrong enough. The bloke in the background went, I think I'll get me donkey in on this. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, when you said blow smoke up my ass. <laughs> <I thought. laughs> Maybe.